up at the top end of Easedale Road in Grasmere and I've got the afternoon off. How good is that? And then something, something quiet, I thought, something easy, something that uh, will take me a couple of hours just to make the afternoon complete. It's a beautiful day. I'm in the shade here. Beautiful sunshine outside. I thought Easedale Town. I haven't been up there for, oh, must be 10 weeks. So that's where I'm heading. So come with me. Actually, I've said a nice, easy afternoon walk up to Easedale Town, but there is more to this little walk than meets the eye. There is great scenery all the way, but it's also mixed with the sad tale of a family tragedy, as well as the ghost of a once popular tea room. It's an easy walk navigation-wise, up Easedale Road from Grasmere Village, then bare left over the bridges, and just head up the left side of the valley beside the river along a very clear track. I'll be returning via a slightly different route, dropping down to a junction with a path up Far Easedale and then back on the other side of the valley. New Bridge, mainly because it's a new bridge. It's actually a replacement for a pack horse bridge that was lost and it was built in 1997 so it's, it's the newest pack horse bridge in the Lake District. And it's a very substantial structure as well. I think it's wonderful. This is a beautiful valley and on a day like this very pleasant. A little over 200 years ago it was a very different story. George and Sarah Green farmed here and were barely able to make a living to keep them and their six children. March the 19th 1808 was a Saturday, a cold day with frequent snow showers. In the early afternoon the Greens set off for a sail in Langdale, leaving their six children at home. Despite the snow and the cold, they reached their destination safely. They set off back in the gloom of the evening, and it's known that they got almost to the top of the fell, because they were seen just before dark. What happened then is not known. It's not known whether they got lost in the mist, and they came down the wrong side of the fell, or whether they deliberately came down the Langdale side because they couldn't find the way over. But they disappeared and their bodies were not found until the following Wednesday and they were quite low down on the Langdale side when they were found. It's a tragic case really. Their children were left alone and orphaned obviously. Uh, but it's not all bad because their children were adopted. Uh, local residents took in their children. A fund was set up to pay for their schooling. And I suppose that the, the only thing you can take from that is that every one of their children reached old age, and one actually reached the age of 90. So, although it was a tragic, tragic thing to happen, um, they survived it. This is sour milk gill. Pretty, isn't it? Nice and full of water, quite noisy. Came up here last week, reviewing for this short film, and it was called sour milk trickle. 
there was barely any water coming over there at all. We've had a couple of days of nice fresh rain and it's made no end of difference to it. It's wonderful. And then it's absolutely good. And it's, it's one of the reasons so many people come up here. Come up here and about a quarter of a mile over the top of there is Eastdale Town. So you get two attractions for the price of one. How good is that? Above the falls, the ground levels out a bit. There's a stunning view behind us and barely a quarter of a mile of reasonably level walking up to the town. Almost there now, that large rock marks the position of the Easdale Town Refreshment Hut, a stone building that stood here for just under a hundred years, providing simple refreshments and boat hire for fishermen. By the time Wainwright published his guide to the Central Fells in 1958, it was derelict. And now virtually nothing remains. The hut may be gone, but the town is as beautiful and peaceful today as it has ever been. I have to admit, this is another one of those walks where you don't have to put a great deal of effort in to get here. And it's very pleasant, the countryside is beautiful. And when you get here, it, it, well, it's just the ideal place to just sit and relax and watch half an hour go by and maybe if you've got a few problems, put them in order. Maybe if you've not got any problems, well, just relax. It's beautiful. Got a choice now. Can either go back the way we came, which is fine, it's a very nice views going that way and it's an easy path, or we can cross the outflow of the town and go back down into Far East Down. It's a lot steeper, there's a lot quicker down, and you get super views up Far East Down. So that's what I'm doing today. All I've got to do is get across the stream. Shame on all those of you who thought I was going to fall in. <laughs> no, I haven't fallen in, not really. This path is very different, it's a lot narrower. There's some rocky, craggy bits going down, and then there's these wide, boggy bits where rocks have been laid to help you get across. It's actually quite good fun on a day like this. And the views of the surrounding crags and also up Far Reesdale are lovely. It really is beautiful here. 
I thoroughly enjoyed this afternoon. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe if you liked what you've seen. I'm off to Italy.